reaction channel now? Um, why is she blonde? Is she blonde? I thought Sniper Wolf had black hair. Is she blonde? Who are you? Bro, my hair looks extra blonde now. I washed it with some purple shampoo and ooh, baby. Am I even me anymore? <laughs> Today we're doing best way people have gotten revenge on other people. Let's get some revenge by combing my hair So Deborah Ann Burns over here stabbed her boyfriend after he farts in her face during an argument <laughs> Oh my god, they were fighting about money and he farted on her Things escalated and she started throwing a knife back and forth and then she got arrested. She 53 years old boy <laughs> you spending all your money on video games again? Bruh, Destiny 2 just came out. I had to get it. It's like, I've been waiting so long for this game. We need money. We need money for rent. Like, like, how could you do this? Like, how could you do this? You know, we can't, we can't afford this. <laughs> so somebody keeps using this guy's toothpaste. So he left him a note. Dear person who's been using my crest, I shot a load in the tube last Monday. Oh. So you're telling me I've been brushing my teeth with... No! To top it all off, that creepy ass face. No wonder your teeth are so white. And I can't even imagine how he got it in there. How does that work? Why don't it just all spill back out? I'm trying to think of how this works. How do you even do that? It's toothpaste. It's thick! I mean... Okay, congratulations. Ah, disgusting. I swear, man, I'll never buy your toothpaste again. I'd be, I'd be scarred for life, or I'd beat their ass. So grandma paid for an ad. Yes, it is me. I am sick to death of watching you lot fight over my money. I am not dead yet. So here you go, I'm spending it. I am putting this message in every magazine I can find and I will keep doing so until the money is gone. Then maybe you can stop all the bickering. Shame on you all. <laughs> Yo, I feel bad for grandmas. Cause like, especially grandmas with money, it's like their whole family is like waiting for them to die so they can take the money. Uh, I know a few people have done that. So instead of giving them money, she's posting this in every single magazine that she can find. I mean, that's one way to waste your money, right? Go out and buy a new car while you can. Take a nice ass vacation while you can. No, uh-uh. I'm gonna post this ad everywhere in hopes that my kids will see this and other grandmas will see this and I will inspire grandmas all around the world. I mean, that's one way to waste money. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself, grandma. So McDonald's posted this, McDouble McCafe Coffee. It spelled coffee wrong. And then this coffee place right next door was like, our coffee is so good, it has two Fs. Cause, yeah, now they know how to spell coffee. What really bothers me is that there's an extra space where they could have added another F, but they didn't know how to spell coffee. How's this for a story? I started receiving irritating texts today from a number I didn't recognize. I informed the sender that he had the wrong number, but he replied that he didn't care. He was just having fun and told me to shush and enjoy the ride. So I pulled the taken quote on him, informing him that I didn't know who he was or what he wanted, but that I had a special set of skills that made me a nightmare for people like him. He displayed amusement, but did not deceive the prank texts. Therefore, after giving him one more fair warning, which he rejected, I took action. Thanks to an online wake-up call service, I started one month from today. He will receive a phone call every morning at 5 a.m. If he does not repent, it will automatically continue every day until Christmas Eve. Then I will relent and bequeath him to a good night's rest as a Christmas present. That, kids, is why you don't give your cell phone numbers to people you don't know. Did I mention that if he answers his phone, it will play a military jingle in his ear? Because it will. Yo, what if people do that to me, like the people I prank text on Craigslist? So he signed him up for something that calls him every day at 5 a.m. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I have a night mode on my phone, which I turn on every night. So, or you can block a number. <laughs> ah, that was a stupid revenge. Roses are red, violets are blue, pack 
packed your bags because I'm leaving you. Hope your Valentine's Day is as shitty as you've been to me for the past year. Ooh, hoo -hoo. damn. That sucks, man. I ain't trying to spend money on this whole this Valentine's, so. Bye. Just stormed into my now ex-boyfriend's work and yelled at him until he got in trouble with his boss. I also just burned almost all his clothes. So funny! Fuck you, Michael. I just found out I inherited a decent sum of money so I don't need your lazy ass anymore. Why would you post this on Facebook? Everybody could see it. This is annoying. So her ex-boyfriend replied to it. Yeah, I like the part where you came in and yelled at me in front of everyone I work with, and then I got fired by my boss for causing a disturbance. Pretty funny, right? I think it's also funny how when I got back to my house, I remembered that only my name is on all the documents that makes the house mine. So you have nowhere to live. I also sent all of your friends all those texts you sent me talking about how you hate all of them and why they annoy you. So now you have no friends. And finally, this is my favorite part. I told your boss about how you've been taking money from the company and how you pissed on his chair during an office party. So now you have no job and might be going to jail. Don't f*** with me on my lazy ass. Who just did all this in the hour after I saw you? Pretty efficient if you ask me. I'm out. Peace. And then an innocent bystander is like, and we have our winner. It's definitely the dude. I mean, damn, way to put all this drama out on the table, out on Facebook. Everybody in their popcorn. So this guy cheated on his girlfriend. She left him a note. Hey, honey, guess who left his Facebook open and got a message from Kelsey? Yeah, you. But don't worry, I didn't break anything. Actually, I was nice enough to package your things, and I even invented a neat game since I know you like looking for things like other girls. Here's where you'll find your stuff. Your clothes are where we first met. Your video games are where we first kissed. Your laptop is where we bought our first video game together. Your TV is where we went all the way. Everything else including pictures of the last two years is at Kelsey's house. <laughs> oh my god. And before Kelsey just messaged him, Hi. I can, I can see this girl being a psycho and Kelsey just like messaging him. Hey, what's our homework tonight? Kelsey, what did you say? So Emily made a billboard for her cheating husband. Hi Steven, do I have your attention now? I know all about her. You dirty, immoral, unfaithful, boneheaded slime ball. Everything is caught on tape. Your suit to be ex-wife, Emily. P.S. I paid for this ad from our joint checking account. Damn, okay. You want the whole town to see? <laughs> I mean, there's so much Stevens out there. I want to put his picture. Warn people about him. So this dude's wife left a note on his car. I am a 41 year old asshole who goes out to bars every night, betrays his wife and two kids. Honk if you think I am a prick. <laughs> Why is everybody honking at me? Do not use. I spit in this. Since someone keeps using it. Thanks. And then someone put, I spit in it too. Since you're a jerk. <laughs> what kind of dressing you want? We got crap white spit. It must suck sharing a fridge. Everybody just taking your food, and then you gotta spit in it, and then they spit in it too if they don't like you. Everything got spit in it. I wanna trust a shared fridge. Good old fashioned way, if someone cheats on you, graffiti their car. Hope she was worth it. Yeah, man, that's gonna suck getting off. That would just suck to have your car spray painted. Cause it's like you gotta drive around in it. And then people gonna see it like, damn, what'd they do? Then people go take pics of it, and then people gonna post it. Confession, when I was still married, I had a feeling you was cheating on me. I found a pack of condoms in the car. The box was already open, so I poked a hole in the wrapper, and then I soaked them in habanero pepper juice for an hour. I put them back before he woke up. He told me I had to go help his mom with some things around her house. He left. Three hours later, my best friend called me to tell me she had sex with her boyfriend and that now she was on fire down there my husband came home and placed an ice pack down there saying he got burnt by something needless to say after that he lost his wife and she lost her friend neither one knows what I did now if I see either one of them I always ask where's the fire <laughs> damn it's over that's so messed up 
That's that's one way to catch two rats. You know those airplanes that you can pay to like have messages? Well, someone paid to let everyone know Scott Kelly has a small dick. <laughs> Man, that sucks. We got an ex-husband sale over here. Everything free. <laughs> <gasps> and then we got cops. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, the and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.